Let me give you those arrows. Oh, yeah. Remember, you can always get arrows back once you've used them. Any air, uh, that's not in my give inventory. Maybe I can just drop them or shoot them. I, I don't even have a bow. Yeah, uh, try to drop them on the rock. No, right clicking, left clicking does nothing. So I just made stone arrows, but I can't do anything with them. Oh, nice feature. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, how did you make a bow? I, I, I don't remember how. Uh, I think we need duct tape. Who's no duct tape here. Duct tape and something else. Alright. We'll just have to wait until we find duct tape, then I can shoot him in the floor or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright. Okay. Um... Well. Yeah, you can help that guy down. You can, you can cut the thing up there, or you can shoot at it, but then you'll never get your stuff back. No, okay. you wait here. You can record it how he how he falls down. I remember this is a long detour to get up there. Yeah, I did this one in my single player video, but I, I don't think I'll do everything in single player as well. That cave was terrible. Does it give any loot? Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll have um, a flashlight and uh, a GPS locator. Which uh, here you can plant on a stick so you can tell where your base is when Kevin leaves it. You could try, if you wanted to, you could try jumping off and I could see if I can revive you. Or maybe you'll just end up respawning somewhere. <laughs> uh, I think no, no, <laughs> no. I don't trust the game. It's also the dark side of the island. It's still dark here. Or not, not enough sun. Blood man next to us. What man? Uh, I mean, I don't know what to call him, but those little crawly dudes. Oh, he's he was in on the your tree. Left. He's in the tree. The inventory management was the worst part of the first game, and they haven't fixed it. Okay, ready to go? Yeah. We can go to the cave in the frozen mountainside. It has loot in it. Do you want to drop by the 3D printer and get yourself a flask first? Oh, what is it? <laughs> you still have the weird armor on. The creepy armor or creep armor. Uh, we should I think it's this way, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, you. Yeah, okay, it's fine. It's only one cannibal. It's a small one. Yeah, the the little ones will attack you constantly when you're not looking. <laughs> That's why we have Kevin. He should warn us. He doesn't. He points at them and then runs away. The warning you is basically him running around. Is like, oh, something startled him. Uh, he's too much work to babysit. 
I don't see him anymore. So the printer is not uh, an item on the map, it doesn't show you on the map? It's a green dot. It was a cave. It's one of those two. But it does kind of show on the map. By the way, we are approaching our helicopter crash site where we were at the beginning of the game. Oh, I wonder if something changed over there. I don't think so. And when you save and load, all the loot respawns, so if you wanted stuff... Oh, there's multiple people in front of us. We're gonna just go left. <sighs> there's a red giant and a, two men men in front of me as well. They're probably gonna try to attack us here. Ah, they already did. Now, if you want to oh, stand and fight, okay. let me know. No, no, no. <laughs> the red giant was running faster than me. Yeah. yeah, generally, I just ignore everybody. That's how I play. It may not be how you play. Ah, Very there's no reason to kill them. Probably if you kill them, more will spawn. I mean, if you kill them, they might spawn somewhere else. At least you know where they are. Alright, so the golf cart gives you a clue that there's something around. The cave is here. See if you can spot it. It's not too hard to find. Oh, so... Yeah. But this one is not on the map. Yeah, basically, it's a point of interest, but it, treat it like a cave. Ah, you can go. Where is the cave? <laughs> it's right here. Only harder to see because it's buried in the ground. Oh, this is interesting. So it's the Cave of Wonders. Yeah, this is actually a good cave. There's even a bed inside for you. Oh, very slow loading. Yeah, that's probably a big map. You can only explore the first portion of it because the second is locked behind a keycard. So this is the complex. Ah, okay. I get it now. I also feel like motion blur turns on in this area for some reason. I don't notice it when I'm outside. Yeah, exactly. Can pick up a book why nobody has time for reading oh a lot of good arrows here as well so I have to put the fluid in the printer yeah I'm printing a flask for myself Oh, okay, so you... Oh, wow, this is interesting.
Oh, you can make a sled. That will take a full 1,000 milliliters, but since you have my printer resin and your printer resin, you could make one if you wanted. I would probably make that one the low uh, priority, though. Flask is probably my favorite thing. Does the mess do anything? <laughs> I, I have never used it, but it probably helps you keep the piece. I don't know. Now, the reason I've never used it is you have to hold it in your hand and keep it equipped. Yeah, hey, probably will have more stuff in the future. All right, I made a bow. Uh, how many flasks can you take? Just one. If you print a second one, you can't pick it up. Interesting, but I feel like this is all too convoluted, especially because you can only equip two weapons, you have to give up one of the other. I don't know, they could have made it so you have three weapon slots, one should be the default, one should be the bow, and the other one could be another weapon for fighting. Oh well. Ah, let's explore the rest then. I'll go and print us both a mask while you do that. Oh, okay. This is the lowest FPS I have found in the game. Well, it has music on the other side. Yeah, it's a whole complex. I mean, I'm assuming there's a whole installation or complex on the other side. Yeah, probably to feature the game boss and some other things. So, you have to do so many things just to get the flask. That's, that's unbelievable. Well, I mean, to be fair, this was right next to your helicopter crash. Yeah, yeah, but not all the time. And it does spawn you with enough resin to make it. Like, in this room, you just pick up enough resin. Go and get your mask. Can you, oh, so you have to hold it in your hand. Yeah, that's why I've never really used it. It just seems obnoxious, but again, I don't... If, if, it's, if there's a threat and I need to deal with it, I'll either deal with it or just do something else. Can you put the GPS tracker in here? I want to see, I mean if you put one, I should be able to see it as well, right? I'm gonna try. Is it working? I only see the stick. I wasn't able to put it on, or it you put it on. I don't, I don't know. No, I think it's because you have no signal over here. I have to put it outside. Okay, I'll dismantle it. So it is marked with the green icon, but it is hard to tell from all the other green icons, I suppose. Oh, you will forget about this in one day, Max. Okay, around here maybe.
Oh, I think you need to put hey. oxygen tanks in the rebreather. Oxygen tanks for the rebreather. Wait, it's 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 on now. Oh, it, it's actually helpful. I can see it from a long distance. I will put some rocks on it. Otherwise, if you just walk into the stick, it'll get knocked over. And I think anything that's not a structure or location gets despawned when you reload the game. I don't see it. I mean, I don't see the cannonball. Ah, okay. So it works. What? He's in the river. Don't forget to fill your flask. Okay, so how do you refill the flask? You have to put it in your hand, right? Yep. Not the best angles, but okay. Okay, so one to fill it up and then you can drink as much as you like. Well, for about one day. Okay, so we visited the cave near the helicopter crash, right? Oh, and I, I may have actually set fire to the forest. Ah, just a little bit. Oh, Kevin came around here. He's happy to see us. Okay, a dead back. body can be burned into bones. Uh, I have enough bones, it's the other things I'm missing. That is true, we have done a lot of spelunking. What did we need for the Four bones, one rope, and one duct tape for the bone armor. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I tend to find armor a little bit too obnoxious to make regularly. Okay, let's go back the way we came to that cave. I think. Was it this one? Uh, you what cave are you talking about? The one uh, near the guy that was hanging by the rope. I don't think there was a cave near him. Oh, yeah, there was. Okay, there might be the one in this direction then. Yeah, I, I have a pretty good idea where he is because I've looted him a few times. Well, oh. <laughs> the cannibal had the white painting on his face. He looks like a clown. Look at him. I guess if they don't have a weapon, they're just the regular cannibals, right? And they don't attack always. I think they all attack if you just aggravate them enough. Uh, my character is hungry. Um, can we stop by for some food? Oh, okay. When? No? Yeah, let's, uh, there's a lake up ahead where I use as my base in episode zero. Ah, don't be um, greedy. Eat an MRE. <laughs> don't collect them all. Oh yeah, I forgot I had MREs. Yeah, I think I had five or six. Oh, 
I don't have any sloppy Joe or something like that. Yeah, and we should stop by the, the area that I use as my base anyways. There's a tool there that you should take. Oh, okay, let's go. So, if you're playing a lot, that means you need more GPS trackers. So, that's again another headache. Well, I don't really track anything. I, I just keep wandering the world. Yeah, but you need one for the printer, one for your base, one for the other points of interest maybe. One for the grave that has the shovel icon, for example. I mean, yeah, you need a lot of stuff. Much easier playing multiplayer. Sorry for the. This area should have a can opener if I remember correctly. Got the camera for me. So did you get a serial from the tent? Yeah. All right. The cave you're talking about should be in this direction over here. Now that cave that we're heading to, I believe, is a pretty in-depth cave. It's we'll call it a dungeon. So if you think if you think that you're you've got enough time to do a, a large area, that 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 would be good. But if you don't have a lot that much time, we should probably not check it out. Oh, okay. Uh, let's explore the mountain for the cave where I first visited when I explored the island. I mean, when I crash landed. Yeah, that's the dungeon. The one where you got surrounded by all the mutants. Monsters? Yeah, that's the dungeon. Well, that's what I call it. Oh, another cave without a dungeon. Is that... Oh, let me shoot that deer a bit. I'm stalking the deer. Okay, maybe I can kill it. Oh, I didn't know you were stalking the deer. I think I startled it. Because I was running up to you. Yeah, you cannot see anything in this grass. Oh, and you might already know this, but you can middle mouse button to zoom in and recycle your zoom on the GPS. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, so let's visit the cave on the mountain, this side, if that one is a big dungeon. I think I should stick to the beaches and the other stuff because it's very laggy over here. To be honest, there's not a lot of loot or a lot of points of interest, it seems very bland. I think it's the deer.
Was there something here as well? I think this is one of your respawn points. Oh yeah, some cloth and some guts for dinner. This will take a while until we kill a deer. So we can kill a shark, but we cannot kill a deer. I can kill a what? We can kill a shark, but we cannot kill a deer. Well, I mean, to be fair, I did shoot the shark. Yeah, I guess that was too much technology, yes. As far as I know, you can't wield weapons while swimming, not even a spear. This is the end of the game I don't like because it's too loud with the water. And the cannibals yeah, can I did find I, I I did find that the whole thing is very loud. Sometimes the game gets really windy and the trees start swaying. Looks cool, but it gets super loud, so I just save and exit. And then then I come back and the winds die down. <laughs> oh, that's a good strategy. Was there something in the waterfall or near it? Typically, no. Um, so I have found things like a stun baton near a waterfall. So there is not everything is marked on your map. Oh, there's a little camp here. I'm a couple feet behind you. They're eating a cooked fish and some tomato in the pan. First time in noodles. Oh, there's a winter jacket here. Oh, well, I could use that in my playthrough. <laughs> And over here, this cask, uh, this uh, briefcase flew off. Yeah, this is all the rope you'll need. Yeah, but you can. I guess this is why you need the sled. I was going to wait for Kevin to pick up the radio, but I think he's too far away or he's sleeping, or I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just stuck in the water. Yeah, like always. I guess we can go to the little marker over here, the flashing one. And then the two caves. Caves only really come in two flavors. The, a single room with a four to six wooden chests and dungeons. Dungeons have tools and stuff that help you get stronger. Um, the other caves are just random loot that you find everywhere. Oh yeah, I feel so much stronger with the can opening on me. I can eat cat food now. Or dog food.
Yeah, well, for example, I've got uh, my pistol in my game has like a, a flashlight, a silencer, a rail. Um, I have a level two axe. So you get more stuff. They're just all in caves. I think it would have been cooler to put uh, building blueprints in the caves, like a fancier house or stuff like that, not just, you know, attachments for a pistol or... I don't know, maybe more building recipes. We are not alone in these woods. <laughs> And your fence pistol doesn't do anything if you don't have bullets. I see people ahead. Looks like the point of interest is inside that village. Oh yeah, and it's defended. Okay, you get out the mask and go in the village. <laughs> I'm curious how that works. Alright, that's fine. Um, but if we do end up fighting them, I'd like to rest first. So I will go ahead and take the mask though. Okay, let's rest here then. I go ahead and set up a, a base camp. Throw a tarp down and then look at the corner. <sighs> This guy had a weapon. I think it was just like a bone, a rib, maybe. Yeah, I wanted to be peaceful, but I guess they had jumped us. It's their fault. Oh, this guy is. You wanted to be peaceful all game, you've been asking the fight. I told you, they always go after you when you're not looking. Uh, There's no, another one coming up. Another native coming up from behind. Oh, that's a bigger guy. Okay, let's just explore the camp. <laughs> Since we don't need a mask now. Oh, there's a big guy over here. Uh, okay, you, you put the mask. <laughs> For science. Guys, they, they look more religious than the others, like they are, uh, yeah. I guess he's not impressed. The good thing is I can't get my items out of my backpack. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm only carrying a mask around while he's chasing me. Yeah, I, I stunned him and then he killed me, I don't understand this. I think you might have killed him. Well, maybe he is stuck. Oh, no. no. Well, that worked really well. I was just reviving you at the time. Uh, behind you. Okay, I'll stun this guy and you. <laughs> he falls so flat. A skin pouch? What's that? Did you ever collect it? 
Uh, I did grab it, but I don't know. I think he used a second backpack or something. Oh, hit me in the face again. Oh, he really likes me. This, this is, you know, the only reason this is hard is because I, I cannot change my weapon fast enough. Another one coming in. Can you throw, throw some flares and I can hit him with my bow? I think I scared him off. This guy is still convulsing on the floor. I don't see anybody. Oh, the one we the one we killed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we, their base is now ours. We can try demolishing it and see if it comes back in your playthrough. Oh yeah, but uh, can you make the tent first? It's super bad. And Virginia is close to me. You go ahead and make the tent. I, th I think you need to do it at least once so that you know make for sure how to do it. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't see that guy, but someone smacked. I know how to do a tent. I just wanted to shoot them with the arrows before they come to us. <laughs> Ud man next to you, but I wouldn't worry too much. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I just saw him when he hit me. <laughs> Nothing at all. Just zero visibility. <laughs> what was? You don't even have time to take your pills. <laughs> This is not a well designed game because you cannot change your weapon. <laughs> and he's only, he's only attacking me, right? He attacks me occasionally, but not as much as he hates you. You need to work on your dodges, man. I, I cannot see him. He, he has a good camouflage. And we got him. Another one coming in. I'll protect you. I jumped in front and I blocked the first hit, but he just kept swinging. Oh man. This is the worst interface in the history of gaming. I just want to make a stupid bed. Why 
it's, it's so hard to just... I don't know. Yeah, they need to work on this stuff. It's getting really annoying. Alright, so if you want to set up your own tent, I see a mud man. And then and then there's the uh, native behind you worshipping the stick. But yeah, you just grab the tarp in the top right, throw it on the ground, and then look at a corner, and then left click. This game has some serious issues. I cannot see anything, and the controls are driving me crazy right now because I have to remember so many things that are not like this in any other game. I just drove my tarp on the stupid ground and I cannot see it anywhere now. By the way, if you've been saying anything for the last while, I haven't heard you. Ah, it's just angry noises. I know I was not on push at all. Kevin's here. He caught up to us. Okay, just sleep, forget about him. Let's just sleep. Okay, now I can see everything. Yeah, during the fight, I managed to demolish all the buildings, so this camp could be ours if you wanted to settle here. Yeah, it's <laughs> Not a that bit... it matters where you settle. I guess you can settle in the area that has the most resources. I forget to grab your tarp and stuff. I see the golf cart. Did you find anything? I got some coffins. I think you need a shovel here. Yeah, so there was nothing here really, right? I mean, without a shovel, we don't know. Oh, but it doesn't... Oh, okay, I get it now. I was trying to eat and somebody hit me. Oh, they hit me instead. This is the one that's been bothering us for a while. I got him. There's another one coming in. Okay, see you next time. That was a weird episode. Yeah, they need to work on a lot of things, especially switching stuff. Oh, another throne. Bye.